taking the bull by the horns and then ah, kissing it and then uh, spanking it and riding it into the sunset because you get that nobody gets to take any of this stuff with us. Blessings and blessings, beautiful souls from my backyard in the great state of Texas. Today's transmission is a conversation about receivership. I got a question from somebody on Instagram, and by the way, if you're not following me on Instagram, make sure you do. It's at Preston Smiles. Come on in closer so I can talk to you. The question came in, how do I work on receiving? And I love this question for so many reasons. And the fact that you're in the conversation, the fact that it's even coming up for you, means you are in receivership. You are receiving wisdom, you are receiving advice, you are receiving support, you are receiving influence. Receivership and opening one's portal, one's channel to receiving is about willingness and receptivity. One, I gotta be willing. I gotta believe that there's something I haven't fully tapped into and I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to grow. I'm willing to stretch. I'm willing to see this differently. And then number two, I must be receptive, right? And so how you work on receivership is noticing all the places where you have no issues. Now, I'll give you an example. I have worked with people who, let's say they order a coffee from a coffee shop and the person says, you know, my name's Dan, right? And they say, Dean, right? Well, that one, that client has not corrected them. No, my name is Dan, right? That's one. Two, they'll give them the wrong coffee and instead of Dan saying, hey, uh, I actually ordered an, uh, an oat milk latte, they'll just take it. Now, this is uh, in some ways a middle finger to your creator. When we don't claim and take care of ourselves, we are in essence saying to the universe, don't worry about me. I'm not worthy of somebody saying my name right. I'm not worthy of receiving the proper drink that I ordered. And so when you continue to put yourself below and under people or scenarios or situations, you are blocking the flow, the flow, the currency, all energy, everything is moving, shifting and changing. There's nothing on our planet that isn't moving, shifting and changing. It's all flowing. It's all circulating. The question is, are you in alignment with the circulation? Are you willing? Are you receptive? And how we become receptive is one. We take ownership that each and every one of us is a unique emanation of the Most High. Ooh, I'm gonna say it again. We take ownership of our own personal kingdoms and queendoms. We allow and remember and, uh, and claim and proclaim that power, presence, and prosperity is ours today, right? We, 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 we take ownership of that. Number two, we start to look for ways in which we have no static on the line, right? So for instance, for you, it may be there's no static on the line when it comes to hitting the weights. I receive the, the, the part of going to the gym. I receive and have no static on the line when it comes to you know doing certain reps. I receive and have no static on the line when it comes to my pecs or my, 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 my abs, right? Wherever you already are fully receiving, you notice what's in place. You notice how you think for that realm. You notice what you hack and, and, and dive into the of course that lives in your body when it comes to health. The of course that lives in your body when it comes to raising kids. The of course that lives in your body when it comes to playing basketball. When it comes to fill in the blank. Wherever that of course is, success leaves clues. There are clues in the part of you that feels comfortable in that realm. And so you take, right, because what I want you to hear more than anything is you're already doing it. What I want you to hear more than anything is yes, I could give you a 12 step this and a five step that, but the most important step is understanding that you have the power within you, that you're already playing that game and it's just about finding it and repeating, finding and repeating, finding and repeating, because again, the universe, God, divine intelligence is rooting for you in the sense that it is neutral. It just says yes to what you're saying yes to. When you get that and let it land in the bottom of your soul, then you begin to say yes to money, relationship, sex, experience, aliveness, health, wealth, prosperity. <clears throat> Claiming uh, and taking the bull by the horns and then ah, kissing it and then uh, spanking it and riding it into the sunset because you get 
that nobody gets to take any of the stuff with us. The, 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 the by and by, the, the heaven over there, you get to create heaven right here. You have options. It's either a prison or a paradise. It's either prison, right? Lack, limitation, scarcity, and not enoughness, or paradise where I'm operating from full presence, abundance, joy, harmony, connection, creativity, and all the other ivities that I could possibly think of. Ha! Ha! Blessings and blessings from my backyard in Buda, Texas. If you are new to the vibe, new to the tribe, new to the family, and you haven't hit that red subscribe button, please do so now. Also, just leave a comment. Whatever came up, whatever juices got flowing in this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you what you learned, what, what popped out for you. And I am so, so grateful to have you be a part of the Abundance Now family. Uh, if you want my free training on the seven abundance activators, this is how I got in this giant gigantic compound. This is four acres, three structures, over 10,000 square feet of beauty. And y'all, I was a surf instructor. I come from nothing. I come from nothing. And look at me now. Look at me now. Let's go. Y yours, yours is here too. So tap in, tune in, click the link below if you want my free abundance activators and I'll see you soon. Mwah.